I'm uh, working on improving renewable energy forecasting. Now what we do is we look into historical records and try to understand which forecast model has actually been the best, under which situation, weather situation, for which location, for which time horizon. And so the novel aspect of this approach is really combining big data analytics, machine learning, with these domain models, in this case weather models, satellite-based forecast models, weather station information. The biggest challenge is to really deal with all these different data sources which are required to make such forecasts, because at the end of the day you have to predict the formation, the dissipation, the appearance, disappearance of clouds, the nature of clouds, the nature of aerosols, the nature of the atmosphere, and you have to do this with fairly high accuracy. We have been able to demonstrate improved accuracy of 30% uh, or larger compared to the next best prediction model. We want to improve further the accuracy. We are thinking about more than 50% uh, total improvements. There are certain types of um, error metrics which you want to improve, for example, ramp forecasting. So focusing on extraordinary events which are especially important for the power grid. And so the Department of Energy um, has been a great supporter of this work. Creating a more sustainable energy future uh, involves, of course, many different uh, aspects to it. And so I'm just glad to be one of those.